Hello and welcome back to the Lewis Phillips Guitar Channel. After the Bring Me The Horizon video that I uploaded the other day, it took six attempts to finally get it up due to like copyright blocking it worldwide. And after that, I just kind of like got a bit fed up. I was like, well, I need to take a break for a little bit and I don't need to upload anything else. However, this morning I was about to go on my run, just going on Spotify just to find a playlist. And all of a sudden, I see new releases, Biffy Claro. The last video, or the last song, sorry, was really good, really enjoyed it. And I said in that video that I can't wait for what else they're gonna bring out. So it's the perfect thing for me to react to, get back on track, feel like I know what I'm doing in a way. And I'm excited for it. It's like there's genuine excitement to listen to that song. So today we're gonna to be listening to A Hunger In Your Haunt. It literally came out 15 hours ago on YouTube. So it's, it's, it's quite recent. With Biffy Claro, you never know what story, journey, or path they're gonna take you on. It could be completely amazing, or it might be something completely out there that you have to listen to a couple of times to appreciate if you don't know Biffy Claro that well. And I feel like I'm still in that bracket. I'm getting there, but I'm still in that bracket. So we're gonna go into it right now and see what it's all about. Okay. Straight in with that intro. Very punchy. Out. Already I'm out of sync, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Straight into an intro. Um, I like the guitar, it's very melodic. It's got like a nice punch to it, like down, down. Gets you right in the mood straight away. And I like this audio visual as well. Okay. Oh, I like that. Very, 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 Ah, I don't know what I'm saying. Evolving once again, it's always something else. The guitar, it's kind of like given a more important role now in this. Like before it was just the intro, now it's kind of gone into something else. The higher punchiness of the song has changed up, but it's still just as punchy. It's still trying to punch me in the face. If that's a chorus, it's a very smooth transition. Very good for Clara. Right? Very nice, I like that. That's a nice little chorus. It caught me again there. Very nice transition. I liked the pre-chorus. In fact, it was so good, you could co probably call that a chorus in itself. And then obviously the real chorus came in and I was like, okay, you know what, actually, no, that's the chorus. Very good flow. It's kind of guiding you through the song. Finish the chorus, straight back into that guitar riff with the... Uh, -na 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 -na. So very nice and smooth transition there. Different kind of vocals in the verses of the chorus. Verses are like quite quiet, like vocally. They don't stand out to the rest of the music in the background. You obviously can hear them, you can obviously hear it, and it's a different kind of approach to how he's singing in the chorus and everything else. It's just, I feel like I need to be constantly like turning my volume up just so I can kind of listen to him a little bit more. This is the first listen through, so I'm just kind of like getting to grips with the song anyway. There's so much stuff going on. Just I think in the verses, the lyrics get a little bit lost, but I know that the chorus is coming around, so I'm listening out for that as well. It's completely different to the first song we listened to. The first song was like had like a little slow start and then going all over the place. This it's just like straight in, straight pace, very rocky. I do like that. You can hear, I like that guitar squeal as it goes into the chorus. It's like, it's like a transition in itself just to go into the chorus. Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. That's a nice solo. Really soothing, really chill, fits so well with the song. Two guitars there. Oh, a little bit of an anthem going on here, this is good. With the solo in the background. 
And you can hear the bass coming in a little bit higher. It's going higher and higher. No. Oh, mate. This is why I love 50 fire rifles. They just keep adding and adding and adding on top of like a, a like a section of a song, and it's just so enriched with so much stuff. And it's like you're you're picking things out of the air of what you can hear. That bass is going up, the guitar is still going. There's a chant in the background. There's this, the bass, whatever. It's all going crazy, and then straight back down, resets and grows again. It is really good. I I really like how they do that in their song. Like this, like see, it's fading out. Bass is coming back in. What we expect, I have no idea what to expect here. Oh, this is good. It's got me really like, excited, interested, intrigued. Drums are coming in, a little bit more guitar. The anticipation there, I was really thinking it was going to go off big time. Back into the chorus. <laughs> a little bit, am I a little bit disappointed there? A little bit. They probably sit there recording this going, look, let's build up to something. And then when they think it's about to go off, let's just go back to what we did before. That'll mess with them. <laughs> it is a good chorus though. Very good, very good, really enjoyed that. Proper Biffy Clyro song that was. It was a lot rockier than I expected. It was more one dimensional as well compared to Unknown Male. It was just like it had one theme and it built on it constantly. Well, I think some Biffy Clyro songs will go in one direction in a rocky way and then they'll go in a completely different like indie way and then like a really heavy way and then like a really chill way, all in one song. And it's just like the change ups are crazy. In this one, they changed up but it was changed up, like adding levels to the same theme. That's how I'm looking at it anyway. Maybe I'm just talking a lot of bullshit, but <laughs> I don't know. Another banger, really happy that I'm getting more into them. Really excited for what else they've got to come. Good thing about Biffy Claro is that you just don't know what to expect. They're gonna keep you guessing. And there's a lot to talk about as well. Sometimes you can get similar songs and you just say the same thing over and over again. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this song. What did you think? Did you prefer Unknown Mail more than this one? Or did you like where they've gone in this direction with this song? Please let me know what you thought. I will see you next time. See you later.